That saves me. Can I talk to you first? Hold on. And after all, uh, you're my wonder. Oh. That is a really great song. Wow. 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 That is a special song. Yeah. That is our song, actually. Something all right. You know, I think this, this has been the best relationship I have ever been in. Yeah. You don't date much, do you? I date quite a bit, actually. I think. Yeah, well, I have been told I have, like, this magnetism around me, you know, like this kind of attractiveness. That's what they say, anyway. Who says? Uh, my ex-girlfriend. Z ex-girlfriends. You know, girlfriends. Multiple. <sighs> but I don't bring them up because that's bad form. Yeah, I don't ever mention my ex-boyfriends. I'm very careful not to mention my ex-boyfriends because that would be rude. Right. Even the one that plays in the NFL. I, I don't ever mention him. I don't want to make you feel bad. Yeah, because I think me knowing that you dated a pro football player in the... NFL would probably feel bad. Do you want to see a picture of him? No, I'm good without knowing what he looks like, actually. Oh. But you know what's funny? Out of every relationship I've been in, I've been the one that gets dumped. You know, for once, I'd like to do the dumping. But you know, it's like I'm an expert at getting dumped. Really? How does it happen? Well, first they take you out someplace public, like a restaurant. And you can't dump someone before eating dinner, so you typically wait after you finish your dinner first, and then... Uh, and then they might try to get the things that they borrowed back. That reminds me, um... Can I have my headphones back? Oh, sure. And if they're really sneaky about it, they uh, they might try to give you back everything you borrowed. That reminds me, um, did you want your leather jacket back? No, no, no. You look great in it. I know, all my guy friends say so. Mm-hmm. And then they give you the talk. What happens in the talk? Oh, well, they usually try to give you a speech where they spare your feelings. Huh. Always happens. You know, there is something I wanted to talk to you about. Right here. In this uh, restaurant? This seems like a nice place. Hmm. What, um, what do you want to talk to me about? Um, who are you going to vote for in the next election? <sighs> No idea. That's what you wanted to uh, talk to me about? Yeah, and yeah? I think we need to stop seeing each other. Oh. It's not you, it's me. But thanks for being so understanding.
What are you talking about? I'm sorry. But we were so good together. We were pretty good together. Well, that has the word good in it. Yeah, but it's modified by the word pretty. Pretty is good. Pretty is not good. Pretty is medium good. Okay, so we had a B relationship. We had a, some laughs. We've had a few laughs. You're only moderately funny. I can be funnier. No, I think I've seen your best material. Look, second best is not good enough for me. It's all or nothing. Carpe diem. The whole nine yards. Well, we can be better. Let me show you something. Do you see this? What, what is that? It's the school newspaper. Wake up for once. I don't read it. I know. I do. Look at page six. Cutest couple in the class. Who are those people? Kaylee and Preston. Kaylee and Preston. So? Kaylee and Preston are the cutest couple? I mean, they're kind of cute. Very cute. She's cute. I, I don't... I don't look into guys. I can also assure you that he is cute. So? Why aren't we on that page? Uh, I, I don't know. It's because we're the second best couple. Do you understand that? They're beating us. They're beating us at... At being a couple! How do you beat someone at being a couple? It's easy. First of all, they're very cute. Second of all, on Valentine's Day, Preston got Katie a three foot tall bear. How tall is the one you gave me? I don't know. How tall was the bear? I, I don't know, two feet? 22 inches tall. 22 measly, tiny, pathetic little inches. I paid for it with my own money. And you know what else? Remember that time that Preston got that karaoke machine and sang I Will Always Love You? How romantic was that? It was? It was a lot romantic, okay? It was a lot romantic. When was the last time you sang me a song? I sang you that one song. Bat Bottom Girls does not count. Well, I, I still sing it. And you know what else? Kaylee really loves Preston. For his birthday, she got him a limited edition signed jersey from LeBron James. And what did I get you? You didn't get me anything. I know that. See? I would have liked a jersey. Well, I would have liked to have been the cutest couple, but clearly we're not. So I'm moving on. I'm gonna find a guy who loves me for me and still has enough money to buy me expensive things and sing songs in public. But you know that Kaylee and Preston broke up, right? They did? Yeah, it was really ugly. Wow. So they're not the cutest couple anymore. Huh? We're ranking up. Do you think we're number one? Well, I heard Tasha and Will were pretty highly regarded. I gotta go. But wait. Look, Preston is not gonna be single for long. asesinado mi corazón matón asesino fui lo mejor que te ha pasado en el mundo la mejor en todo el mundo por el resto de tu vida vas a llorar y dirás por qué hice eso por qué qué me ha pasado por qué quieres saber por qué sí estás segura sí no quiero enmecarme demasiado emocionalmente
it. I've had a hard time with it myself. I thought things were going well. Shh. They were. Were they? No. Oh. Don't feel bad. It's not your fault. You see, I realized I have a problem, and I'm gonna get the treatment I need. And maybe in like six to ten weeks, with a little luck, we can try dating again. Really? No. Oh. I lied. That's my problem. I'm a liar. I lie all the time. You don't lie all the time. You're right. I lied just then. About being a liar? Nope. Wow, I... I did it again. I just lied to you. I am a liar. Shh. I said I couldn't go out to dinner last night because my dog started to talk and I didn't want to miss it. Yeah. That was a lie. No way. I don't have a dog. Yes, you do. See? I just lied again. Does he talk? Absolutely. Was that just a lie then? See, now you're catching on. Do you see why I need help? Yeah. No, you don't. You're a complete moron. You're lying again. Shh. So, that was the truth. Wait a minute. What about all this stuff about how your mom was being hunted by the mob, and that's why you couldn't go to the dance? That was the truth. It was? No! My mom sells Tupperware for a living. Why would the mob try to bump her off? You're right. I'm lying again! Of course the mob is trying to kill her. She worked as a part-time hitman. I always thought your mom was a little strange. That's because she's a cold-blooded assassin. Is that true? No. This is really confusing. Now, wait a minute. Is your brother really an astronaut? I don't even have a brother. Wow. I know. I can't believe I believe that. Neither can I. Well, I'm glad this is finally out in the open. <sighs> Me too. Me too. Hey, look. I can accept you as a great big liar. Really? Sure, I mean, now that I know, I think I'm cool with it. Wow. Do you think you can still go out? Yes. Really? No, I'm lying. What do you mean it's not me? Yeah, that's right. It's nothing I did? No. It's all you? Yeah. What's wrong with you? I... I can't tell you. So you're breaking up with me for a reason you can't tell me? I'm glad you understand. I don't understand. Alright, well that's okay too. No. Alright, well... I really gotta go. Wait! Okay, I need you to listen and... Listen very, very carefully. So... You and I, we never dated. I never existed. I need you to delete all the pictures of me on your phone. I need you to tear up all the other pictures that we have. I need you to eat the chocolate that I gave you. I already ate it. All right, well then just throw away the wrapper. I was saving them. All right, well, I need you to destroy all evidence you have of me the second that I leave this restaurant. Why? If I told you, then I would have to kill you. Oh, and uh, I need you to pay for dinner. Uh, make sure that you tip the waiter very well because he refilled my water and I didn't even need to ask him and I really like that. So, yeah. Where are you going? I, I can't tell you. Is it dangerous there? Very. Are you some kind of spy? Shh. Say nothing. All right. So, I'm actually an agent from the Canadian government. A black mountain. A black mountain? Shh, don't say anything. You will get us killed. Alright. I gotta go. Mm.
Wow. I thought you said we were never gonna. Don't say anything. Just not if you understand. All right. Uh, so I'm kind of left my wallet on the chair. Uh, do you see it? All right. Um, well, can you stand up and uh, look for it, but don't look suspicious. I said don't look suspicious. Do you see it? What does it look like? It looks like a wallet. Don't talk. It's like neon pink. Oh, here it is. All right. No, just toss it through the window, but don't look. No, don't. Why do you have a Nebraska driver's oh, license? My cover. Your name's Barry. So, uh, look. Ah. Uh, I've been shot. There are agents circling from Liechtenstein. You you can't see them. They're like super small, but don't worry about it. Can you just like toss my wallet through the window? Thank you. Check, please.
I think I think I want to become a mermaid. See. You're bothered. A little bit. I thought we were doing well. I know you thought that. I'm psychic. Really? I didn't know you were psychic. Yeah, well, my astrologist told me, and she was very clear about it. I have the ability to see the future. And that's why you're dumping me? Yeah, I mean, you're okay. What do you mean, okay? I mean, you're average. You're <sighs> kind of funny, kind of good looking. Kind of? Sort of smart. I thought it was above average. No, you're pretty average. That's okay. <sighs> I'm also just pretty average. <sighs> no, 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 you're very much above average. Let's not lie. We're a good match right now right now the future not so much <sighs> what's gonna happen well for me if you're a major transformation i'm gonna become a model no one will see it coming a model really and what about me well there's a few unpleasant genes there's the male pattern baldness you will fool yourself for a bit, but then your hairline is doomed. And then there's the middle age weight gain and the, your hair is just gonna, you know, be a little tiny line uh, above your ear. And please don't get me started on the ear hair. Uh, ear hair? Yep, totally disgusting. And the back acne, ugh. And that's just the beginning. You're gonna drop out of college, and the only job you're gonna be able to get is to kind of look at a gas station, well, where you then will be discovered stealing Snickers bars, get fired, move back in with your mother, and then go try robbing a bank dressed as Kermit the Frog, of all things. And then you're landed in a teeny tiny cell with a big hairy guy named Mad Dog, and that's where we have to break up. Oh. No hard feelings, okay? Mm, yeah. But if it makes you feel any better, you're really turned around for your third year in prison. Spirit's gold, so. Spirit is gold? What are you saying? It's not you. Oh, come on. It's me. You want to know how many times I've heard that from people before? I'm throwing away all of my human emotion to go live in Tibet and become a monk. I wouldn't expect anyone with a silver sphere to understand. 
I'm just trying to find a deeper spiritual connection with my music. And I can't do that in the West or with you. You know what? I'm going to do that too. You're just saying that. I'll shave my head right now. Watch me. This really is juvenile. I'll go into the monastery right next to yours. And I'll be reincarnated three times before you can even do it once. You are bound to this material plane while I have escaped the thrall of all material possession. Fine. <laughs> Come on. I'm gonna break this. No, you're not. I'm gonna put a hole in it. Well, another one. Give me my guitar back. Tell me what's wrong with me. I told you. Tell me what's wrong with me. Will you steal things for one? No. Fine, you really want to know? You never let me watch sports and... so many times. I think you're just trying to spare my feelings. No, I'm not. It really is about me. You know what? I think I'm the problem. No. I'm pretty sure I'm the problem. Well, I'm not a great boyfriend. No, you're a great boyfriend. I'm terrible. No, you're a wonderful boyfriend. I simply can't accept your wonderfulness given my current state. I am slime. I am beneath slime. Honestly, you're terrific. I'm the problem here. I should have been more considerate of you. I think I'm the inconsiderate one. I should have listened to you more. Why didn't I listen to you? Remember that time I forgot your birthday? That was awful! I don't even remember what you say half the time. I never say anything important anyway. I just go on and on. You'd be crazy to listen to me. Sometimes I don't even remember your name. You should date someone with a more memorable name. I mean, what is my name? Jenny? Who's gonna remember that? I don't even shower. Stop arguing with me. I'm the problem here. I'm argumentative. Will you listen to me for one second? I'm just too argumentative. I don't listen. You need to understand- Do you hear anybody talking? I certainly don't because I don't listen to anyone except myself. I should be shot. Stop being a moron. Uh, see? I'm part of the problem. Alright, fine. The fact that you are a moron is a tiny part of the problem. See? See? But I am a vast majority of the problem. No, you are perfect, and I am garbage. Oh, come on. I just admitted that you're part of the problem. Why can't you accept that I am too? Because you're not. It's always about winning with you, isn't it? No, I always gotta lose because I'm a moron. I don't even know what you saw in me in the first place. My reasoning is flawed. Aha, I am the problem. Okay, fine. The fact that you chose a complete idiot like me is a tiny character flaw in you. And from that character flaw sprang our entire misguided, stupid relationship. So I am the root cause of everything. I am the problem. Fine. What? You're the problem? I'm completely innocent. You're not completely innocent here. No, I am. You're a foul beast. I'm lucky to be rid of you. Excuse me? I'm agreeing with you. You're a horrible person. 
thank you for dumping me. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. You don't even shower. So I can't smell you. I deserve that. I'm sorry. No, 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 really. I went, I went over the line. I shouldn't have gone that far. No, I shouldn't have gotten violent. I, I was argumentative. No, you weren't. No, I was really argumentative. Like, you... I can't help myself. You're not argumentative. I'm terrible. You're not. It's like when someone throws water in my face, I just have to... So, what happened to you? Bad breakup. Seems to be happening to me a lot. Tell me about it. Guys are scum. Girls are so sucking monsters. Every guy I date turns out to be insane. Every girl I date has deep-seated emotional problems. I'm thinking about becoming a nun. I'm thinking about that too. I mean about not dating. I think I would be a pretty weird nun. They'd probably kick you out. Yeah, I can hear it now. Jack, about your being a nun. It's not you, it's us. We're the problem. That's what they keep saying to me too. I mean, it's pretty obvious. We're the ones with the problems, right? Absolutely. I'm clingy and intense. I'm inconsiderate and strange. You know, that'd be an actual reason to dump me. There are so many reasons to dump me, it's not even funny. You know, um, do you, do you like sports? No. Really? Do you have a, an ex-boyfriend that played in the NFL? None of my ex-boyfriends can spell NFL. You, my name's Jack. I'm Catherine. Before we start, promise me if you ever dump me, dump me because I'm the problem. Okay. 